My name is Robert Carnahan. I'm the director of the Longhorn Band here at the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, I've been doing this for 13 years now. The student experience, I think, is incredible. As incredible as it is to perform for 100,000 people almost every weekend, which until you're on the football field in that arena, surrounded by those people and hearing them clap for you, you just don't know exactly what that's like. But more than that, this, this thing that we do in marching band, especially at the large institutions like the University of Texas, it really teaches people to learn about themselves. It's, being in a marching band is a microcosm of the real world. You are forced to interact with people in the same kinds of way that you're going to interact with people in the business world, in whatever profession that you're going to go into in life. The idea of working together toward a common goal and all the hurdles that you have to clear to get there, this teaches people how to deal with day in and day out. The formations are an important part of the show because that is what is sometimes the most recognizable to the crowd. We might be playing music that's unfamiliar to them, but if we can create something on the field that is visually stimulating or recognizable, that might make a connection between that and the music itself. The music is the canvas, that is our inspiration, and the forms come second. And the drill design is based upon the counts in the music. So the music is the background that the counts then are constructed to. The, the set that we're uh, getting to now with the submarine, this is my favorite one, just because of the submarine coming down and the water level going up and looking like the sub's underwater. And then of course everybody's taking the same size step again as we move down toward the end zone and the submarine. Uh, traveling underneath the water. So that's basically how it all works. There's a phrase of music that gives you the number of counts. That dictates the number of steps that the students take from one set to the other. Um, the sets are dictated by whatever picture that we're going to create. And the students have dot sheets. And the dot sheets tell them on every picture that we make where they need to be standing. So that gives them the starting point and the ending point for each picture that we have. The picture is supposed to represent the feel and the vibe of the music. Throughout a season, we learn probably about a hundred different pictures, a hundred different sets of uh, drill or choreography. So the students are, they're asked a lot. They're asked to learn all that music and they're asked to memorize where they're going, when they're going, how many steps they're going, step size, turning direction, while playing their instrument a uh, hundred different times throughout the season. So it's quite a lot. It's really like a big family. The social aspect and the friendships that they develop are lifelong. Every time we see the freshmen sitting on the floor of the band hall on the first day, we say, okay, everybody look around the room. Girls look at the guys, guys look at the girls. You're probably going to end up marrying one of these people after you guys graduate. And the number of weddings that I've gone to of former members of the band in the last couple of years is really great. It's really neat to see all the relationships that uh, are developed during their time in band. It's a huge family, uh, and I think people really, really, really enjoy it.